Cell nanoparticles are membrane enclosed compartments that are pinched off from cells of all types after the budding process. It is believed that the blood naturally contains circulating nanoparticles that reflect clinical status. Do you think the patients will benefit from cells nanoparticles? They could. It seems they're important for autoimmune diseases. Also in cancer, but the isolation must be better understood. Microscopy is crucial for determination of shape and diameter of nanoparticles. Here we see an isolate from the blood of a healthy human donor exhibiting a mass of nanoparticles and many residual erythrocytes. Comparison with theoretical shapes shows that these particles are membrane-enclosed vesicles without internal structure. The observed structures indicate that fragmentation of blood cells occurs during the isolation process. Thin necks were formed which are torn by centrifugal shear stress. The population studies, including 49 healthy volunteers, showed that the concentration was slower at higher temperatures. The large size of nanoparticles in the isolates, the shapes of the intermediate structures leading to isolated material, and the sensitivity of the concentration and the mean size of nanoparticles to external parameters indicate that a large pool of nanoparticles is created after blood sampling.